Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is a video series called Topics. Good evening everyone. On today's episode of Topics, we will be looking at different versions of evangelism and how they can be used. The first method of evangelism is called open air preaching. So this is similarly called street preaching. So this is where someone goes into a highly public area where there's a lot of people. Uh, a lot of times they will kind of find a spot and then start preaching and uh, reading Bible verses and spreading the gospel. Um, now, you have to be careful with this one because a lot of times, uh, depending on where you're at, if you're like in a public park, uh, or if you're somewhere in the city, sometimes you have to have a permit to do this. Um, so you do have to be careful. Uh, but if you've ever been to a big event, uh, you might have seen this before where someone just starts preaching and it can be used for good. Although I have seen some street evangelists that basically just tell people that they're bad and going to hell and they don't really focus on the gospel message as much as they should and it's more of a you're doing wrong kind of thing so if you do this kind of evangelism just make sure you are doing it in love and that you are sharing the gospel and the true message of jesus christ the second form of evangelism is called trickle-down evangelism so this is the idea that you share the gospel with two or three people that you think will have a high impact. Um, you share it with them and you basically assume that they will be able to go and spread it to other people and then so on and so forth. So they spread it to their friends, they spread it to their, their friends and the key or the objective of this type of evangelism is to spread revival. Um, it doesn't always work that way uh, depending on the circumstances, but it can work. Um, kind of almost not to be negative, but like telemarketing or not telemarketing, but um, if you think of like a pyramid type thing where, oh, if you just get this person to accept or you get this person to sign up, um, it's kind of like that, but in a different way, not a, not a bad way. Um, so that's what people use sometimes is this trickle-down effect uh, evangelism. The third method of evangelism I wanted to talk about is door-to-door -door evangelism. Um, now, a lot of churches do this. Sometimes they'll put flyers or information about the church out there, uh, or they'll knock on the door and ask, hey, have you heard about Jesus Christ? And see if the person's willing to listen. Um, I'm not against this type of evangelism, but you do have to be careful because if you're in an area where, you know, if, it, if they say no solicitors, um, you might get a negative response. Uh, or if you're in a bad area, you got to be careful who you're actually knocking, whose door you're actually knocking on. Um, but with this method, you know, you can knock on the door. You might get a lot of doors slammed in your face, but there may be one or two people or a few that you can actually share the gospel with and they'll actually listen to you. Um, so this is another way you can uh, evangelize to other people. The next form of evangelism is evangelism, evangelism through a sermon. Um, so this would be a pastor or a preacher or someone that's talking about the gospel message to other people um, and then also encouraging people to spread this news to people that they connect with. Um, this is typically what you would see in a church uh, setting uh, most often uh, where the pastor will give a gospel message and... Uh, ask for people to respond to that message. The next form of evangelism is lifestyle evangelism. So this is just thinking that you can live for Christ and do good things and be different than the world and people will see that and want to uh, find out what the reason is that you're doing this. Um, this can work. Um, 
in some cases it may not but this is one way to show your faith kind of on your sleeve like this is this is what i do is follow christ and kind of putting your faith out there for people to see um so this is another form of evangelism that can work um but it might not work on everyone the next form of evangelism is friendship evangelism so this is where you build a bond with someone you build a friendship and you build trust um, and then you slowly introduce your faith uh, to other people you show them the gospel uh, once you feel that they're ready to hear it um, so this method actually works really well you can you know make sure that you're sharing it with a friend that you trust so that um, they can understand the gospel and then they'll understand that you care when you show the gospel as well by the way that is my cat bob he decided to join us today um just to let you know he's my cat the next form of evangelism is child evangelism so this is a mindset where uh if you focus on a child they are able to understand things a little better and you can kind of teach them at a young age to grow to serve christ um so this is kind of typically sunday school uh, parents should be doing this teaching them young as well uh, so this is another version of evangelism that is not a bad idea to use. The next form of evangelism is called harvest evangelism. So this is by basically going to community events, uh, sporting events, and being a part of the community. Uh, typically you would set up a booth, uh, maybe representing your church or you might have a booth that this is there to give out Bible tracts and greet the community, maybe have a fun game for them to play. Um, this is something that's a little bit newer, I believe, that churches are doing, is, is getting involved in the community uh, outreach events, um, just getting out in the public and letting people know that your church or ministry is there for people. The last form of evangelism I want to talk about is music evangelism. Um, so this would be similar to an event like Winter Jam, which has multiple musicians. Um, you can invite your non-Christian friends because a lot of the newer Christian bands have a sound that's uh, very similar to what people are used to, uh, but the words are edifying to God. Uh, there's also, during these events, there is a pastor that speaks and will give some type of gospel message or some kind of encouraging word. Um, these are really popular uh, nowadays as well. So this is something that can really work. Uh, but all of these different methods can be used. Um, you just have to make sure that you're comfortable with the one you're using and that you do it in a way that is kind and understanding of the people that you're trying to reach and that, that you're sharing the correct gospel message as well. Thank you for listening to this edition of Topics. We will see you again uh, next week. I won't be doing a um, interesting fact video or fact Friday this week. Uh, I will be on vacation. Um, actually, I won't probably be doing videos next week because i'm going to be in tennessee um so i'm going to be doing um just a trip with my family so in two weeks i will have more videos for you i hope you enjoy the rest of your day and god bless everyone